Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, be prepared to have your socks knocked off. I'm going to tell you about some big money costume jewelry, but there's a little twist to this video. So let's get started. All right, so in this video, we are talking about big money bolo items that are costume jewelry that sold on Mercari. I know so many of you are like, Mercari is a garage sale app. I can't sell things for big money over there. That is absolutely not true. There are collectors buying on all platforms. But in this video, we're not really talking about Mercari as much as different costume jewelry brands to look for. Maybe some that you don't know about. Now, this one is Lagos. I'm probably saying that wrong. L-A-G-O-S. And I tried to find costume jewelry, but I'm looking here and this one does say 18 karat gold and sterling. So that is probably what brought this up in price. However, this is a brand that I have never seen before. And you never know. We just may come across it. And I want you to notice right here, it says 925, and then I think it says 750. Could that be the actual marking for 18 karat? I'm not sure. Does anybody know? And I want you to also pay attention here. You can see the branding right here, L-A-G-O-S. You'd probably see this right away but you may miss the little numbers. So always open it up and look down inside. Sometimes it's on the post. There's different places where they will put if the item is 925 or gold. So just pay attention to that. This sold for $565 on Mercari. Now, Mercari is always a great place. If you don't want to source or sell, on Mercari, like buy or sell, it's a great platform to go and look at solds. Here is another example of a big money Bolo brand. Um, and I always say it wrong. I think it's Yves Saint Laurent. And these are clip on earrings. And I want you to look at the actual marking. One thing that you can do is get familiar with different brands of costume jewelry. Now, these are not gold. These are just costume. But right here is the brand you're looking for. If you see made in France, that's probably an indicator that it's a higher end item. Not always, but could be. I would try to find this. But this one right here, you can see it's a Y and S and then an L is a very, very um, sought after brand. And they make lots of different things. So be on the lookout. If you see this branding right here, definitely look it up. These sold for $405 and the buyer paid shipping. Trafari. Okay, Trafari. We've all heard about Trafari. Trafari goes from bread and butter to big money. And it, it's a good brand to look for. These are a little out of focus. So I can't even really get you a good shot of what they um, the branding looks like on the back. But there's Trafari and there's Crown Trafari. And yeah, unfortunately. But even with the blurry photos, these sold for $260 on Mercari. So if I'm convincing you to think about Mercari, I do have a referral link down below where you can get $10 to shop when you join and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. But Again, if nothing else, if you're not looking to buy or sell on the platform, it is a great place to research and look for solds. Now, Judith Ripka, I'm not sure if this is like a QVC or a direct sales. I've never heard of Judith Ripka. This is her Sterling collection, but here's what I want you again to pay attention to. This marking right here could be her like uh signature, but it says Judith Ripka 925 Thailand. So if you see this, 
you're probably going to look it up and be able to figure out what it is pretty easily. This one has a box. It's sold for $275. Just trying to focus on maybe some different brands that you are not familiar with. Alexis Bitar, I think is how you say it. I learned about this brand from a gal on Whatnot. Her name is Rach Face for Eva. Um, and that's EVA. Look her up on Whatnot. She sells beautiful jewelry. And uh, she told me about this brand. I did not know about it. But let me show you right here. Do you see this? This is what you're looking for. On um, the bangle bracelets, it's something very similar. But this is a higher end sought after brand that a lot of people don't know about. These earrings sold for $229 plus shipping. Also really uh, sought after are the bangle bracelets by this um, designer. So be on the lookout and check out Rage Face Forever on Whatnot. And I'm Bolo Buddies on Whatnot. If you guys are not over there, definitely check us out. I am... Um, selling a lot of jewelry. I'm doing a lot of untanglings. It's super fun. People are sco scoring gold and diamonds <laughs> from the untanglings. You guys can check out my gold and diamonds reseller vlog if you want to hear more about that. Unbelievable what people are finding. Unsigned, unmarked pieces, you guys. They are out there. They're out there and you don't even know. You don't even know. So check out that video for more information on some unsigned pieces that I sold during my untanglings. Um, again, I'm Bolo Buddies on Whatnot, and you can use my referral link down below to get $15 to shop if you're not already on Whatnot. Now this one, how many of you would have missed this one? Avon August Conference Achiever 1994 Stunning Brooch and Clip-On Earring Set. $190. This is what you're looking at right here. You're going to see Avon and you're going to be like, eh, it's Avon. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Some Avon goes for big money. If you type in Bolo Buddies Avon, um, I do have a jewelry video that talks about different Avon items to be on the lookout for. Avon did a lot of collaborations with bigger companies, designers, and some of it is big money. So check out that video. Uh, these are Shriner. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Shriner is big money. These sold for $550. You can pretty much go to any reseller platform and look up Shriner. And you're going to see some big money bolos. They just sell. It, it's just a very, very sought after brand. I'm going to see. Uh, I think this one is actually marked. Uh, some Shriner is unsigned. And if you go to uh, YouTube and type in Bolo Buddies brooches and Bolo Buddies clip-ons, clip-on earrings, I have other videos that are, is it right there maybe? I'm not sure if this one's signed or not. Let's see. I have other videos. Yeah, this one is signed that teach you about brooches and clip-ons to look for. Now, I am not an expert in jewelry. That's why I do these videos because I don't know a whole lot and I don't retain information well. So I like to make these videos to help me learn and to help you guys learn. Here is another brand and I'm not even sure how to say it. S-C-H-I-A-P-A-R-E-L-L-I. -L -L -I, poured glass necklace and matching clip-on earrings. Scarapel. Uh, yeah, we're just not even going to try it. That's how you spell it. $759 on this. This is beautiful. Look at the light, how it's hitting that. There's one necklace on here that I'm going to show you guys. And you're going to be like, what? I'm still not even sure what I'm seeing. So we're going to talk about that and how on earth it sold for so much money. So here is the brand right here. It is marked, it looks like, both on the necklace and the earrings. So if you see that brand, look it up. Now, are they all created equal? I don't know. I didn't do a whole lot of research on the particular brands. I'm just showing you some big money bolos that sold on Mercari. I love selling on Mercari. I think it's a great platform. I think you should all definitely check it out. Now, 
This is a brand that I have sold during my untangling shows, Kendra Scott. I wasn't super familiar with it. Uh, I don't know if this particular earring is going for more because it was, is this a famous person maybe? Or is this just an ad for the earrings? I have no idea. <laughs> but these sold for $300, which I find quite shocking. Uh, iridescent Druzy earrings. Does anybody want to explain to me why these went for so much money? Clip on earrings. Like, is this a famous person or is this just an ad? Let's see. Did they write anything? Uh, wedding earring. I don't know. But they sold for 300 It does say hard to find in the search bar. So I guess uh, if you see Kendra Scott, do a little research. Uh, vintage George Jensen Sterling Silvery Pens and Earrings. This is a brand that my husband told me about that I had never heard about. And I'm going to see here if I can find. Now, right here, you're going to see it is signed 925. And let's see, does it say, this is probably the branding right here. But you can look up this brand, sold for 401 401 The next item is a Trafari brooch. If you don't know, Trafari, Trafari, Trafari. Some of it goes for crazy money. You see here they have a picture. This is the Alfred Felipe series, and it does say Sterling. Now, I am going to guess that this is probably unsigned. Let's see. Because they actually put um, the picture. It does have patent pending. And it does say, oh, nope, it's signed. Trafari Sterling right there. Trafari Sterling. $1,088 on this, you guys. Be on the lookout. Is that incredible? And it's not perfect. It's not perfect. Look, it's got plateware right here. A lot of times these items get dismissed because they've got plateware. And they still sell. It's crazy. $1,000. Okay, this one I'm just so confused about. It says vintage 1950s designer rhinestone blue zircone and clear bow necklace. They have that this is Juliana in uh, the title. Ah. I don't know why they have the brand as Juliana. Can anybody confirm that this is Juliana? They did not put Juliana in the title. So this one is the one that I'm questioning, and I'm really just bringing it to your attention because I'm confused. But I sell necklaces like this all the time, all the time. And I have never even really thought twice about it. They've got the three little things here, unmarked, $999 this sold for. Can anybody confirm that this is Juliana? I I know there's a book and there's a way to research Juliana for unsigned pieces because a lot of her pieces are unsigned. But this one is not screaming Juliana to me, but I am not very good at knowing <laughs> the brands. So for all of you Juliana experts out here, is this Juliana? Again, it's not in the title. It's just down here. And I wonder if that was a mistake. But it's under the category also. But it's also under brooches. So there's just a lot under this. It, it's a necklace and it's under brooches. So this one I'm just confused by. So let me know in the comments what you think about this. But either way, it sold for $999. Now, did the person return it or open a return? Were they happy with the item? I don't know. But on Mercari, when the item sells, you get the payment once the item is delivered. So it's automatically charged to the buyer at the time of the sale. 
Once the buyer gets the item and leaves you feedback, you get paid. But this is the one that I just am not sure about. So if you find this item, do your research, obviously. But I don't know. I want to hear from the jewelry experts because I am not a jewelry expert. And I am just, this one has me confused. Uh, the Trafari Jelly Belly does not have me confused. Uh, Jelly Bellies and Trafari, both big money. $650 on this one. And you can see Crown Trafari. I think there's a crown on top of that. Maybe not. Maybe it's just Trafari. There it is. This is an extremely rare Bakelite Bulldog brooch from the 1940s. This guy sold for $500. How stinking adorable is that? Oh my goodness. If you guys missed my Bakelite video, go watch it. Um, I also have one called uh, Type in Bolo Buddies Sleeper. I talk about a brand that you may not know about. And she is an artist that specializes in Bakelite, but I sold one of her brooches for big money. So type in Bolo Buddies Sleeper and Bolo Buddies Bakelite. I also have a video that teaches you how to test Bakelite if you don't know how. So check that out as well. This one right here is a Coro Craft. Again, Jelly Belly, another thing that you really want to be on the lookout for. And if you search like Google and different things, there's books on different jewelry. They show you different maker's marks. They help you date the items. Right here is Coro Craft. And look, they're all signed right here. Coro Craft. $480 on this one. So many things that we may have walked past, right? This is a vintage Trafari blue ice fruit salad brooch. Very rare, $479. Do you see these discolorations in the stones? How they're yellowing? A lot of times I'm like, ah, man, right here, this one, I think they, in my, um, when I'm doing my whatnot shows, they'll say, oh, it's a dead stone. And I'm like, okay, a dead stone. I, I, I guess I don't know what causes a dead stone. If you know, let me know. Uh, some of these look like maybe they have been repaired or rhinestones have been added and maybe that's glue underneath. I don't know. What causes the yellowing? Is it just age? Let me know in the comments if you guys have any feedback on jewelry and what causes a dead stone or yellowing behind certain rhinestones. But even with these discolorations, this sold for $479 and only two photos. And I don't see any markings on this, but it could be hidden under part of the picture. This is a vintage Coro Bird of Paradise. Look at this beauty, $425. Wow, wow, wow. Looks like it's got some plate wear here. See this? Again, would you have not bought this because of that? $425 it's still sold for. And there's your signature on the back. Beautiful, right? Wow. The next item is this signed Panetta Gold Vermeil Emerald Teardrop Crystal, Crystal Cascading Brutalist Brooch. Great title. $420 on this one. Absolutely stunning. I'm going to see if I can find a signature. There it is right there. There's the brand, guys. Would you have known? And I don't think, well, it's got these prongs right here. I guess you would consider those prong set. But are these? Yeah, they've got more of the, okay. So yeah, I would call that prong set. Vintage 1968 Christian Dior Lucite Bouquet Flower Brooch. So Lucite is a type of plastic. $382 this sold for. And this one is signed. You see it right here. Crown Trafari Baby Tooth Pearls. If you find the pearls, 
that look like baby teeth. Oh my goodness. Big money. $340 on this one. But I want you guys to go and watch a video. Uh, this one is a crown trafari. This is one of my top videos with 78,000 views, buys on whatnot for $20 and sells on eBay for $999.97. And it sold in two minutes. So typically when things sell very quickly, it quite possibly sold for less or sold, uh, yeah, for less than it could have. So check out that video. Whatnot is a great place to source. Do you have to be patient? Yeah, sometimes. Is everything going to be huge money? No. I mean, 20 into 1,000, probably. You can definitely source. Maybe you're going to buy something for five and flip it for 50 or buy it for 10 and sell it for 100. That's still really great margins. So definitely check out Whatnot. Again, my referral link is down below. You can get that money to shop check it out. And if you want to sell on whatnot, I have a referral link for that. I also have videos for beginners, uh, for selling on whatnot for beginners. Type in Bolo Buddies Whatnot Beginners and it'll pull up how to ship and it'll also pull up how to set up your show and it'll show you my setup. Great way to learn if you're looking to expand to another platform. This is an original by Robert. I just think this is so cool. It has a chain mane on this horse. $340. I definitely would have picked that up. And I don't know why I love this so much. It's so cool. I just think it's awesome. I would have sold it because I don't need it. But it is definitely pretty rad. I was trying to see if it had a signature. I don't see a signature on this one. So it may be unsigned. The next item is a rare vintage Boucher. Boucher? Boucher? I forget how to say it. Uh, Boucher. <laughs> it is a uh, big money Bolo brand. This is a ballerina brooch sold for $3.11. Let's look at the photos. Um, this one just has a number, it looks like. 2320. Uh, it is signed, I think, Sterling right here. Google Lens is your friend. All right. This uh, would be hard to Google Lens because it's got the background stuff. But uh, that's why a plain white background is really good, you guys, because if you're searching for this, this one may not pop up because of the background distraction, but it says 2320 modernist dancer 1940s and 311. This one is a vintage rhinestone brooch and I believe it's unsigned as well. Sold for $300 on Mercari. This is Mercari friends. Check it out. If you're not selling over there, definitely, definitely consider it. I do always say, if you're not 100% sure, eBay auction is the way to go. Is it missing a rhinestone? Wow. Oh, wait. Is it signed? That looks like it's signed. Is it Coro? Hmm. Okay, you definitely want to put... It doesn't say. Maybe they couldn't read it. I can't read it. Do you think that's Coro? Either way, it sold for $300. People love the bling. But I can't tell if it's missing rhinestones or not. Could be just kind of discolored rhinestones. Here is a Cashmere Trafari. So I don't know if that's like Alfred Felipe, another designer. $290 on this one. Here is your marking with the crown. Again, Google Lens, Google Lens, Google Lens may help you find these items. Uh, Bolo Buddies Google Lens in the search bar on YouTube, and that will show you how to use Google Lens if you're not using it. Now, this is a mechanical brooch. If you do not know about these, get to know it. I have never found one. I would love to find one. I think they're super cool. 
They're called Day and Night. This one's by Joseph Warner. So it actually is mechanical. You see how it's open and then it will close. It's a mechanical brooch. $263 on this one. I'm going to see if I can uh, go in here so you can see better. So it's open and it's closed. Now, how you get it to open and close, let's see if the pictures show us. Do you turn that little thing on the back? I'm not sure. But definitely be on the lookout for anything that looks like that. But I want to know how to open and close it. Huh. If anybody knows, let us know in the comments. And you guys can check the comments. And you can see right here it is signed. The next item is this vintage Negrin, N E G R I N, Michael or Mikkel. I'm not sure. But look, $335 on this amazing necklace. And it's got a lot of fanciness to it. Here's the back. It almost looks like, um, material like macrame or a knit i'm not really sure what do you guys think about that but definitely be on the lookout this looks like a i mean it looks more modern to me but they're saying it's vintage so 335 dollars on this it's stunning the next item is this vintage antique folding magnifying glass loop enamel with bird design pendant. $450 on this. Would you have ever guessed that this would sell for $450? Let me know down in the comments. And the last item is this Oscar de la Renta jewelry set. Fancy, fancy. 308 and it says made in the USA right here on the clasp. And look at the clasp. It's not, it doesn't look super old and it looks like it's signed right here. So I'm not sure if this is vintage or not. And this, it says the real real. So they must have sent it in to make sure that it was legit. Is that what the real real does? I don't know. 308 on that one. Okay, guys, are you selling on Mercari? If not, definitely, definitely consider it. If not, get an account just so you can search sold listings. Mercari is fantastic for plush. Bolo Buddies plush. Uh, there's a Build-A-Bear video where I show you that a lot of Build-A-Bear sell for more on Mercari. Different eyes on your items. Uh, it And it's just not as flooded as eBay. So some items that are sitting on eBay, you may put them on Mercari and they may sell quicker because different eyes. Okay. Sellers on Mercari, their money goes into a little pot, we'll call it. And then they, the sellers can use that money to buy items or they can pull the money out and put it in their account. So a lot of hobby sellers will sell their stuff from home and then they will use that money to buy on Mercari. So again, they're not looking on eBay. They're not looking on Poshmark. They're not looking on Depop or whatever. They are looking on Mercari. So great platform to sell on. Uh, I use List Perfectly. I start my items on eBay and I cross post them to the other platforms. There are um, other ways to use List Perfectly. I have a video down below. With my referral code, you can get 30% off your first month. That is Bolo Buddies. Check out the List Perfectly demo. They now have the D-List uh, function for the Pro Plus plan. So if you don't know about that, you may want to check it out and upgrade new Pro Plus plan on List Perfectly. 30% off your first month of List Perfectly with coupon referral code Bolo Buddies. Check out the demo video down below. There are some new options in the Pro Plus plan, so look that up. And you can also upgrade if you're already on List Perfectly. I think you can even use my coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES to upgrade. 
So try that if you're going to upgrade. All right, you guys, you just go into your settings and upgrade to a different plan. And I think you can put on put in the coupon code. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let me know if you knew about these brands. If you're a jewelry expert, give us some tips and tricks down in the comments because if you watch me on whatnot, you know I am not a jewelry expert. I know very little about jewelry, and that's why I bring my jewelry to whatnot. All right, you guys, hope to see you at a future whatnot show. All those links I talked about plus more are down in the description. Thanks for being here, and thanks for watching.